Hi, I am Jay Kumar, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, RMD Engineering College. Welcome to my first video lecture. Uh, we are, today we are going to discuss about Newton Raphson method. Why we go for Newton Raphson method? This method is used to solve non linear programming problem without any constraint. For example, you take this function g of x equal to x power 4 minus 2x square minus 16x plus 4. This is a function. The precondition to apply Newton Raphson method for uh, unconstrained and nonlinear programming problem is the given function must be equated to 0. Check whether the function is equated to 0. Here, this function is not equated to 0. So, uh, differentiate the given function and equate to 0. The given function is g of x and differentiate this function and assign to f of x. So, when you differentiate this function, you will be getting 4x cube minus 4x minus 16. And uh, simplify this differentiated function and equate to 0. So, this will be our f of x to proceed further Newton Raphson method. Suppose the given function is already equated to 0, this function can be directly assigned to g of x without differentiating. For example, if the given function is equated to 0, then no need to differentiate and assign to f of x and equate to 0. Instead, this function can be assigned to g of x, assigned to f of x directly without differentiating. This is very much important because given function is only when the given function is not equated to 0 then differentiate and equate to 0. So this will be a base for Newton Raphson method. So how the Newton Raphson method works is the objective of the method is to find the value of x. For the given equation we need to find the value of x. So how this method works is we have to guess the initial value whatever it is we have to guess the initial value based on that initial value if you apply this formula you will get the next value for example the equation is xk plus 1 equal to xk minus the function given function f of x which we computed by differentiating g of x and differentiated function of f so this will be a equation so by taking the initial guess and by applying this formula iteratively you can get the successive value of f of x so when should we stop this process is when two successive iteration is the same value we have to stop so the success of this method is depends on how well we are guessing the initial value how well we are guessing the initial value for which before uh, guessing the initial value we need to identify how many roots are possible how many positive roots are possible for this equation for this we have to use one rule called Descartes rule Descartes rule what this rule says is check the number of sign changes in the function f of x if you see this is a plus sign second term is minus sign third term is minus check the number of sign changes between the first two, two terms plus and minus one sign change second term and third term there is no sign change so only one sign change so only one positive root is available Though the given function is x power 4, 4 roots are available for this given equation, only one root is positive. We have to guess what that positive root is, for which to identify that, we need to randomly apply some values for x, randomly apply, randomly applied values A, assume randomly apply a to this function and check whether the given uh, function f of x is less than 0 then take some other value and substitute in this equation 
if you get the value which is greater than 0 then the initial value will lies between a and b initial value xk equal to a plus b divided by 2 say for example uh, for this example if you take for this example if you take f of 1 you will be getting minus 7 when you substitute 1 in this equation you will be getting minus 7 which is less than 0 if you substitute 2 you will be getting some positive value which is greater than 0 when you substitute 2 in this equation you will be getting positive value which is greater than 0 so it says this intermediate this theorem we, uh, what we follow here to find this uh, x square values intermediate value theorem this theorem says when the uh, when uh, a is when you substitute a the f of x is less than 0 and when you substitute b it is greater than 0 means that value lies the x lies between these two a plus b by 2 so for this example our initial value will be xk equal to 1 a equal to 1 b equal to 2 divided by 2 you will be getting 1.5 we are guessing that our our root will be 1.5 so when you apply newton raphson method by using this formula iteratively it refines our solution 1.5 our initial guess is 1.5 iteratively, iteratively if you apply this it uh, refines that solution towards the correct optimal value for example this uh, our initial guess is 1.5 we have to apply the uh, different iteration let k equal to 0 that is 0th iteration our initial guess is 1.5 then apply this formula which is xk plus 1 equal to that is next iteration value is equal to previous iteration value minus f of xk which is previous iteration f of xk value and f dash of x for this function our f dash of differentiated function of this is 3x square minus 1 this is our f dash of x and this is our f of x apply this formula so when you apply this formula with the value of 1.5 you will be getting minus 0 0.369 see this equation when you apply 1.5 you will be getting 1.5 minus apply 1.5 in this equation you will get this when you simplify you will get you will be getting 0 0.369 that only uh, that value only written here so when you apply this formula you will be getting 1.7 so 1.87 that is written in the last column so when you take 1.5 as initial value you will be getting the next value as 1.87 for the next iteration you take this value as the starting value and apply this same formula again you will be getting at the end of first iteration you will be getting 1.80 for the second iteration you take 1.80 as xk and apply this formula you will be getting 1.796 for the third iteration you take 1.796 as a starting value and apply this formula you will be getting 1.796 if you see the last two iteration result two successive iteration gives the same value then we need to stop the process when two successive iteration is the same value we can stop so solution to this problem is this final value of 1.796 so the solution to this problem is x equal to 1.796 1.796